perfect specimen, Abby Shackner's brain. She's functioning but doesn't have a job. She's lovable but doesn't have a boyfriend. She's sexy but insecure. Anyone want her number? Just joking. Because Abby Shackner is under serious scrutiny. Abby Shackner is under serious surveillance. Abby Shackner is conflicted. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We can't. We're part of a brain. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was hoping we could get a lobotomy. I, I hate all this fighting. Makes my ears bleed. You don't have ears. What? <laughs> I'm conflicted, and some of this shit has just been passed down from generation to generation, era to era. It's stuck in our brains. It's a natural response, and it, it fires our nerve, it fires off in our nerve centers, but it's extremely outdated, like caveman outdated. Flee, freeze, or flight. Neither one's wrong and neither one's right. Flee, freeze, or flight. Neither one's wrong and neither one's right. You do it in reaction. In reaction to how you feel. You do it in reaction to void being someone else's meal. Freeze, <laughs> flee, freeze, or flight. Neither one's wrong and neither one's right. But flight is better. I mean fight! I mean fight is better. Fuck that. Fuck me. Okay, so imagine me like Leonardo DiCaprio or Leonardo da Vinci, Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian man, and on one side there's fight, and on one side there's flight, and in the middle there's freeze. Flight and fight. Oh shit, I'm so fucked up now with fight and flight. Flight and fight. But here's the thing, fight and flight create the same thing in your body. The same thing's gonna happen. Your pupils are gonna dilate, your mouth's gonna dry, your heart rate's gonna rise, your sphincter's gonna close up, all your blood is gonna leave your digestive system, it's gonna flow out to your extremities to prepare yourself to fight or flight. And it served our ancestors well, this fight or flight response, but it has a cost. Staying physiologically on guard wears down our body's natural defenses. And the truth is this response is for the most part invalid because we aren't running away from saber-toothed tigers or hunting scary things with huge teeth that want to eat us. The elements we're dealing with is Vons and Ralphs, and the crazy people, and the food for less parking lot. And the coldest I ever am is in a grocery store because I know how to prepare for a movie. <laughs> We're fighting traffic, and lines, and automated machines. Operator, operator, agent, operator, 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 agent. Fight or flight has become our modern day panic and anxiety disorders. That's what it's become. It, it's no longer necessary. And freeze, freeze, like a deer in the headlights, fight, freeze, freeze, and flight, is our modern day deep breath, and meditation, and yoga, and cognitive behavioral therapy. therapy. Take a deep breath in, and hold it, and exhale. Take a deep breath in, and hold it. You can even squeeze your stink and pull your belly up, <laughs> tuck your chin in, exhale. Why are you saying that? Why are you doing that? You're making people freeze. You're making freeze sound the healthiest. You sound like an idiot. Hey, what's up with this bad ventriloquism? Shut up. Without it, I wouldn't have a voice. Freeze. Put your hands up. You, fee you flee or you fight, and you might get shot. And flight's OK that, uh, it was a great invention, so thank you to the Wright brothers. It can offer a different perspective up above. It can provide safety behind a rock or a desk if you're trying to avoid an active shooter. I watched a video called Run, Hide, and Fight, How to Avoid an Active Shooter yesterday on YouTube. And I learned, I learned, first you run, but if you're gonna hide, turn off the lights, turn off your cell phones, and try to push a copy machine in front of the door if you've got time. And if you're gonna fight, 
you charge that dude with a chair or an electric stapler or some very sharp pencils. But you, but you cannot flee from life or relationships or career. To flee, especially if you wanted to be in the mix, doesn't quite work out, I know, because I've done it and it feels like shit. No fucking duh! <laughs> Shut up! But fight, as in drive, hunger, chutzpah, instinct for that, fighting is good. And at some point, you're probably gonna need to be a fighter. You're an idiot. This is so stupid. You're getting the point wrong. This is about fighting, fighting the fight. Tell them about the fights. Growing up, the fights with your mother, the fights with Starbucks workers and people in Nordstrom's. On the road, the fights in your head, the fights, the fights, fight, 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 fight. freeze. Deep breath. You gotta be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. You gotta be a G. It's like Jack in the Boxing from nothing to everything get away from me. Swatting love and laughter like someone caught in a hive of bees, that's what I do. Why are you telling them that? They don't know, they don't need to know your intimate details. Why are you talking? <laughs> the last therapist told me on the last day I was seeing him that I was hypervigilant and narcissistic. He used to draw pictures, he used to keep it really light, and then what is that? Used to basically just, oh yeah, he just basically tell me to stop smoking weed. <laughs> but the last day I went to see him, he brought up real words. Hypervigilant and narcissistic, which means I'm, a guard, I'm on guard, which means everything's a threat. My dukes are up. And the new therapist brought it up too, but she didn't think I was a narcissist. She said she thought I had PTSD. And I'm not sure that's true, but it did make me feel comforted. Tom!